Hello Sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're back again for some more daily countdown gameplay until Shadow of War, then you've come to the right place. So, this is day 66 in our countdown to the release of Middle Earth Shadow of War, the sequel of the game that I'm playing here today in which you will witness of gameplay. And as with every episode, we give you another little easter egg, another little tidbit about the upcoming sequel. So we've been following the theme of orcs and what each of those orcs uh, possibly are, what we call ranks. We have the Destroyer, Commander, Assassin, Beastmaster. Thank you for those that are commenting below. I'm enjoying the interaction. But let's talk about the next rank. It is Marksman. The Marksman is a specialist in ranged combat. He fires with increased accuracy, does additional damage, and he has a couple more attributes, and that is Power Shot and quick shot power shot and quick shot what could those be what could those mean leave a comment below what your speculations of that could be quick shot has in my idea uh basically faster draw time i would assume power shot however may have to do with more increased damage as we did read in the description of the marksman if you're curious to know where i'm getting these stats from you can visit the uh, monolith uh, i believe it's wb games forms for shadow of war and uh, you can find more information there but if you want to just check back here each day I'll have another little bit for us to learn about comment below what you think the marksman is what he's all about what kind of things he might have an ability to do such as power shot and quick shot and without further ado let's go ahead and change our skins up do leave a comment below and vote in your favorite skin today we're gonna play as the lovely lady Lithriel and she's gonna kick some butt today it's gonna be awesome play continue story mode If you've been uh, watching the series, then you know that we just got to meet Ratbag, who was one of those um, future war captains. We've got a little agreement with him, in which we're going to go and kill some of the captains and gain some intel, and as we wake our, work our way up to getting revenge on the black captain who killed, or the black hand, I should say, that killed our beloved families. And interestingly enough, there seems to be a connection between the elf wraith that has inhabited the body of the dead Talion and given him life to now take his vengeance. Both of their families have been killed horribly, and we're going to have to find out more about that. Looks like we have quite a new, few new um, story modes here. This one probably being one of the most difficult, the Black Captain. So we're going to move to one that is nearest. I'm going to suspect it's going to be this one. Climbing the ranks and then Shattered Memories. So what we're going to do here is see if we can't go with this one, as that seems the most fun to do, and do some fast travel. We might already be at this tower, but maybe I'm wrong. So now that the waypoint is set, it's now 300 and some feet away. Let's get to it, ladies and gents. Wow, look at that statue over there. And look at the skin. I just forgot we changed to Lithriel here. Some ornate buckling action going on there. Nice buckle lady. And uh, let's make our way. Is it just me or does she seem faster? I don't know. Probably just, probably just me. All right. Now, Lithriel is a character we'll have later. We'll, we'll meet later in the game. But because of the DLC, I thought, hey, well, let's just play this skin. All right, so uh, Ratbag's hunger for power is growing, and so is his usefulness to our cause. Very awesome. Keep him alive. Bring us one step closer to the Black Hand. Awesomeness. I'm just curious um, what you thought of the series so far, if you're enjoying it, and the gore action we've, we just witnessed. Viewer discretion advice. You call this a duel? Leave a like on this video if you would, please. Thank you. Right here? Is, it, is that good? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just It appears Ratbag's got himself in some trouble. We'd better hurry, or he'll lose his head. Awfully tempting, isn't it? Some uh, humor there going on. Find his many eyes, and the beast can't see you coming. All right, so we've got 
like four minutes before Rat Bag is executed, and we need to take out the archers before they kill our uh, beloved friend. Ooh, with such, such anger. She threw some force into that punch. That stab, I should say. Three minutes, 39 seconds. Wraith Vision is going to show us. We've got a little friend here. Hello! <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I saw the lady take your life. Alright, so something down there. You can't just execute Ratbag because he's bored. Oh, of course he can. He's a war chief. Oh, right between the ribs. Okay, one final. Oh, we got plenty of time. And Archer, you never saw it coming, did you, boy? No, oh, to the face in the temple. All right, we do have someone apparently suspectful of our uh, recent um, adventures, Odyssey adventures. Okay, and we also have um, some some dudes that have discovered our presence. Oh, and they're throwing axes on us. All right, we're just gonna have to go down there and make make some make some progress. Man swine! Man swine! Good thing we have the ability of of. And I will show everyone here how low that is. Okay, we'll do that. Some poison resistance. If you recall, that was an ability we had. Yes! Right through the shield. You didn't see that coming, did you, fool? Okay, take out his minions, and then we're gonna take out the the boss. Take out this uh, bruiser here. Wait, you just totally missed your target. Oh, can't block those dudes. Gotta keep that in mind. Oh no, a little bit, a little bit of help here. Take out the defender. Very good. Keep your eyes open for and I could really drain somebody right now. That would be nice. Whoa. Can't do it yet. Oh, not fast enough. I will give your corpse to my okay, now there we go. You got a little hit on him there. Can we? Oh, I was trying to do a little uh, execution there. But, sure enough, wouldn't let me. Execution? Execution? Oh, come on. Not timing my attacks very good. There's an execution move. Oh, nice dodge, lady. Fast moves. Okay, let's interrogate. Alright, now that his minions are gone, we can now interrogate. Ooh, his messed up face. Dude, woke up, got a, working up a little sweat there. We're burning it off with our wraith burning abilities. Okay, let's take a look at your brain. War Chiefs, let's take a look here. Uh, I'm going to unlock this one, gain some intel. Hey, he looks just like him. Oh, he's a twin! Mog, the other twin! Alright, we're going to go find him with the fire sword. And he's a gunner. Ranger! Well, now that's what I call teamwork, eh? <laughs> Go before I change my mind. What, what, what about our deal? Deal is over. Very well, then. I, I well, that alliance was short lived. Wait, wait, Ranger! Watch this. Once the war chief hears of my victory, he'll make me his personal bodyguard. <laughs> and how does this help me? Uh, 
my backstabbing bodyguard? I'll take care of one of the war chiefs for you. Then you can do the other four on your own. Then we'll meet at the training camp, right? I'll make sure the war chief is there. You're ready for him. <laughs> what do you say? Make sure you keep your head on your neck this time. And the alliance has been mended. <laughs> now it looks like Ratbag and I are back in business. Now Ratbag increases his power. All right, good job for you, Ratbag. Way to go, Ratbag. 600 XP and a bonus fifth mithril. This Ratbag led us up the chain of command in spite of himself. 55% to terrify more than two Eric's on brutalized kill. Don't need it. Don't need it. All right. So what do we got next on the agenda? War chief, 70 power. That's pretty sweet. And on the way, we could gain some intel. Let's gain some intel on some stuff. Oh. And looks like we just killed a couple dudes and we're in. Let's kill the spear dude first off. Cuz uh I hate the spears. And that sword. Oh, don't punch rocks, you fool. Oh, you lit on fire. A poor sap. Well, he's still alive, and now he's dead. Got a sword to the face. All right. Let's grab you and do a little interrogation. Oshaline de Vandor. Gain some intel. Finally. What can we learn about... Mm, nothing about him. But we can gain some intel on these guys. That might be helpful. Ooh, bow and arrow guys. Those are always... Ugh. He's a supporter of Gahama. Make him squeal for Gahama. Grab a supporter. Okay. Dead backhand head decapitation. Unlock some abilities. If we get down to this level, we could get to the third tier. That or the second tier. And it looks like 42 points to get to the second tier, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Weapons and runes, nothing new there. However, um, would it be helpful to do some, well, not that, um, where's the mithril stuff? Ah, here we go. So we get some more health, or oh, we should get some more elf shot. I'm going to opt the elf shot. Cool. So now we have an extra arrow or two, six instead of four, squish a spider. Squish the spider, where'd it go? Hey, there it is. There we go. Just because it's fun, and I think I do get some mithril for it. All right, moving on, moving on. There's some health I could just nab right here. I think I'll do that. Now this game is pretty open world, as you've already noticed, and the thing about it, uh oh, Karagor's found us. The thing about it is some people have complained about it being too small. Frankly, I mean, you could get a lot of hours into this game, and if it wasn't for that, I think it would make it lame if it's just story mode, but there is so much more. I mean, you can collect all these items. I don't know what people are hating on this game for, but in Shadow of War, we're going to find way more space, way more land to explore. I'll shut up now. You enjoy the cutscene. Well, as it is. Oh, you bastards! When I'm a war chief, these birds will feast on your guts! Did you stay there? Could you get me down? Oh, good thing he broke his fall. <laughs> he should know. Compassion in the rat bag. That didn't hurt at all. Now, I know what you think 
Hey, Ranger, this was not my fault. I go to tell a chief that I've killed his bodyguard. He turns around, got the exact same face as the dead maggot I just killed. Which you can skill. Twins! What are the odds of... Just make sure you show up to take the place of the dead war chief. Um, but the war chief's not dead. I'm going to go kill him! Oh, good plan! <laughs> I'll be right behind you. It works. Yeah, it does. Good for you, Ratbag. Training platform. Well, we'll see how the war chief soldiers do in the face of a true foe. Rattle a cage and bring out. Defeat a couple of berserker trainees. Oh, we can do that. I remember doing this once and it took me forever. Oh! It'll only be a matter of time before he leads us to the Black Hand. Oh, that was horribly done. Oh my goodness, guys. That was. I did not mean to climb up there like that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh, come on. Couple berserkers. All we have to do is headshot them. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! Coming at me a little fast there. I mean, that's just a little, a little too fast for our relationship. I'm just not ready for that. So you can just die. <laughs> okay. And number two, got you. Whoa! You brought friends. And we summon Mog, the other twin. I think what describes my gaming style is mostly derpiness, and um, it, it's just working. Echo within you. So he's upset that we killed. Hey, that was a that was a cheap shot. Come on. Let's just take this slow. So we got a hit off on the twin, and we're finding ourselves a little bit overrun here. And I'm a little concerned that there's a few more orcs on the way. Let's uh, get some quick succession blade shots off of this dude. Uh-huh, and um, some more shots off. Six, six there, oh, whoop. <laughs> okay, what, I didn't mean to pause it, but that's not a bad, not a bad. Oh, she looks like either terrified or, oh, didn't mean to zoom there, but man, <laughs> what is this face? Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, what? I have no elf shot. Maybe one. And the uh, the peoples just keep a coming here. Oh, I'm getting hits. Oh, getting some hits on me. This is a lot of works. This is not going too well. Here we go. Just need to charge up enough to get some some uh, lethal strikes actions going on. Okay, I'm just swinging the sword, just swinging my sword. Okay. Oh, somebody gutted me. That's not good. Okay, come on, just give me some. I think I got someone threw something at me. I think is what it was. Where was that? Up oh, there he is. You've got to die, sir. No, wrong, dude. But that was epic, I have to admit. Where is the archer? There he is. Hey, I've got a bone to pick with you. Maybe an arrow? Come on, just a couple more shots and you're mine. You cannot escape the Dark Lord Shadow. Okay, in we go for a kill on the neck or the head or the a shoulder okay and then a lot of orcs run in fear love how that ends <laughs> finally 
Ratbag is war chief! <laughs> Chief Ratbag will make sure nobody gets in the way of your dirty schemes. But Ratbag can't speak for the other war chiefs. I wouldn't worry about them. How much cutting do you have to do to get his ear? I need a sharper blade. Okay, that explains it. Not a sharp enough blade. How disgusting. Now, we have for ourselves. The duel against duel, and Ratbag comes out on top once again, beating Flame Sword, and may I say, gaining some rather awesome aesthetic armor. I think pretty much all he gained was the shoulder skulls, but still pretty cool nonetheless. 600 XP. One of four war chiefs killed. We've got more on the way to annihilate. We got power 70, which is fantastic, which we'll have to do a little upgrade action the next time in the next episode but this episode is now ended up so we're on day uh what did i say 66 of the countdown to shadow of war and if you've enjoyed the series so far do please leave a comment about what you believe the marksman has with a power shot and quick shot and also leave a like and subscribe that would be fantastic share with your friends the playlist if you would it would go a long way and would mean so much Hopefully you've enjoyed the series, and if you have, don't forget to do those things once again. This is Hero887, your host, signing off. Ask the lady, Lithriel. Later, sidekicks!